Where your Jurassic World story takes place matters. How you build, manage, and customize it can make all the difference between a dinosaur paradise and complete chaos. Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, Game Director on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Creating and managing a park in Jurassic World Evolution 2 is more expansive than ever. Along with our new management features and tools, the player will be building in some of the largest locations seen in the series yet. No longer confined to the islands of the Five Deaths, players can now build their own Jurassic World in a number of different environments available in the game. I'm Adam Woods and I'm the executive producer on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Every location provides players with a unique canvas where they'll be able to sculpt the landscape using terrain features made for each environment. These locations also have their own challenges and nuances, with bespoke weather patterns and natural calamities. The most familiar of these environments is our tropical location. Players will be once more returning to Isla Nublar and Isla Sauna, the home of the original Jurassic Park, Jurassic World and Site B. Here, they'll face challenges in the form of hurricanes and fierce tornadoes. To combat the ever-changing conditions, the buildings can be upgraded with storm defences to protect the vital lifelines of the park from the weather's devastating effects. When creating a sandbox park for the first time, the players can choose from either the Jurassic Park or the Jurassic World era building sets, giving players the freedom to build the park of their dreams from throughout the franchise's history. The team have given these sets a unique and authentic feel that provide the player with a great deal of creativity when constructing their parks. Hello, I'm Amy Hook and I'm a senior animator on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Along with familiar buildings from the first game, players can now place new buildings such as facilities that house key members of staff or can further maintain the welfare of your dinosaurs. The control centre acts as the player's personal headquarters where they can hire scientists to help develop the park. The staff centre helps the player maintain the welfare of their scientists and can also be upgraded to both increase productivity and decrease recovery time. Dinosaurs have also had their welfare needs expanded with the Paleo Medical Facility. Any dinosaur with a severe illness or injury must be tranquilised and transported to the facility for immediate treatment. The Capture and Ranger teams return with some additional features to help the player maintain the security of their parks and the welfare of their dinosaurs. Vehicles can now be sent out on patrol to various Ranger posts placed within the enclosures. This then provides around-the-clock observation of their dinosaurs' welfare keeping both teams on the move and ready to act whenever the player needs them. These teams will help the player maintain control over their parks, creating a secure environment for their dinosaurs and their guests. A few tips. The player should always make sure that their park is fully powered by researching and building power stations to provide electricity to their entire park. However, these stations are susceptible to storm damage and sabotage, so a well-placed backup generator can mean the difference between a, a minor inconvenience or a major disaster. The player should also place down amenities to meet the guest's desire for food, drink, and shopping. Well-placed amenities can provide a really good supplementary income for the player in their park. Viewing galleries or tour rides should provide good views of the dinosaurs. Without good views of the dinosaurs, no guests will come to the park. I'm Jim Stimson, lead designer on Jurassic World Evolution 2. The Jurassic Tour and Gyrosphere are returning to Jurassic World Evolution 2 giving the players guests an up-close experience of their dinosaur enclosures. These rides can cross over paths, go through fences and into the aviary, connecting their tour vehicles to the entire park. All land, marine and flying reptiles can now be released from their own bespoke hatchery and can be changed at the genome level to improve their traits, such as resistance to disease and guest appeal. The interior of the aviaries can be tailored to the flying reptiles' needs in the same way it is done for the land dinosaurs. Players will need to be careful as unhappy flying reptiles like Pteranodon and Dimorphodon can break out from these enclosures, terrorising the guests below. We've also greatly expanded the customization of available skin tones and pattern colours, dramatically increasing the combinations and uniqueness of the player's dinosaurs. All of these features serve to bring players closer to their dinosaurs and form attachment to the species unique to their parts. I'm really proud of how each park can look different from the last. There's definitely a strategy to how the player lays out their park. Each one can feel unique based on the dinosaurs, what era of buildings, what location, and then the player can also customise how their amenities look. All of these elements together will make a player's park feel more personal. I'm really proud of the new Paleo Medical Facility Building that includes a brand new park team, the Mobile Veterinary Unit. This team allows players to treat minor injuries and illnesses out in the field. 
I am most proud of how much our team has put into making each dinosaur feel unique with the ways they interact with one another, including many new expressive social interactions that show our dinosaurs in a new light. I'm most proud of the new management systems that we've added in Dress It Order Evolution 2. The greater depth will really challenge the player's ability to manage and successfully run a dinosaur park. We hope this dev diary has given a better idea of the features coming to Dress It Order Evolution 2. And we cannot wait to get these tools into the hands of our players and to see these bigger, richer dinosaur parks come to life. with a severe illness or injury must be tranquilised and transported their to dinosaurs the and their guests. A major disaster. The player should also be connecting their tour vehicles to the entire park. Or land break out from these enclosures, terrorising the guests below. We've also greatly expanded the customization of available... Viewing galleries or tour rides should provide good views of the dinosaurs. Without good views of... and welcome to a Jurassic World Evolution 2 monthly highlight stream. Uh, right, so, so that task the, is now... You can always check the bio out if you want to check for more information, <laughs> see if they did grow I've up next to you. I've got a part to build, I can't well, be worried I mean, about people's bios. Neighbors. I don't know, it would be nice to say hi and catch up. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, so you can see now, bottom right hand corner, we've got that pinned um, node. It's, it's counting up the research. And uh, we've also got the task um, at the top as well, uh, which is Je counting down. Jesse. Yes. Yeah. We've got those three ready to come out. Um, as I said before, we, can, we could release it through airlift, but we don't want to. We're going to release them no. out into this enclosure. We'll release them uh, so straight out into the enclosure here. So here they come. The J team, as that Commander Keeble has said in YouTube. Oh, I'm going to say that's Jens who's just like bolting out of the game. So it's, it's little, just little colour moments like that where they're sort of, yes. you know, looking at each other. Each yeah. other. I, I, Check each really, other before they rush quite, off, except for Yen, who just ran for it. So we've unlocked an achievement as well. <laughs> I hope that wasn't a surprise, but there we go. Yeah, that's it's right. working, there's an achievement. There Absolutely. We go. Very as we mentioned, achievement. we grabbed an Xbox Series X. Yeah. We put the game on there, so we're playing this uh, especially for you guys today on the stream. It always fascinates, fascinates me, the claw as well, that middle claw, how mm. extended up it is. It's uh, quite, quite ferocious. But there we go, so that's our our new um, raptors. Um, of course, Brilliant. they do have needs. They're building up their um, territory now, so that's the territory they're building up. So I don't they're know searching you, uh, out for the things that they want in this area. I've seen any of our other streams where I say how this is actually one of my favorite additions. Like, I love yeah. the territory system, yeah. the way that they do build it out. I, uh, I hope that some will have um, empty scans. These tries yeah. do. So I can already give some. You can see they need some uh, ground fiber there and a bit of forest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
as if I timed that almost oh, oh, no. oh, come on. It's okay, just, just really click it away, click it away, click it away. They're really helpful. Oh, it's paused in the background, so it's not really yeah, still good. Okay. Right, so. Allez, c'est parti pour ce Jurassic World Evolution 2 sur PlayStation 5. Donc, chose importante, hein, puisque c'est comme d'habitude, hein, j'ai installé le jeu hors ligne. Donc, c'est la version 1.0 sans le fameux patch Day One. Alors, je ne sais pas s'il y en aura un, mais très certainement, hein, comme quasiment tous les jeux. Et c'est vraiment le concept de ma chaîne, euh, puisque moi, euh, je ne mets jamais à jour mes jeux pour qu'on ait une expérience 100% physique. C'est-à-dire que le contenu qu'on va avoir, c'est vraiment le contenu qu'il y a sur le disque et pas euh, télécharger euh, d'internet. Alors, petite intro. Et oui, parce que donc euh, il va y avoir des dinosaures marins, hein, c'est une des nouveautés de cette suite. Et voilà, on est sur le titre oui, Jurassic World Evolution. Jurassic World. Appuyez sur C'est c'est ici que notre histoire commence. Par une percée scientifique. Ah, j'ai l'impression que c'est la voix officielle de Jeff Goblum. La nature Je crois que c'est bien sa voix BF. Hein. Et semé le chaos. Cette fois, la situation semblait vraiment sous contrôle. Le Et ils reprennent des. N'en a été que pire. Ils reprennent des plans des films, j'ai l'impression. Nous avons compris. Avec l'actrice la, Bryce Dallas, j'ai pas de bêtises. Mais le temps a une drôle de tendance à nous faire oublier ce que c'est que de perdre le contrôle. Et l'ambition, l'ambition est un désir tenace. Pour ces dinosaures abandonnés, le temps n'avait plus d'importance. Ces miracles de la science ouais, ça c'est Jurassic World 2. Très sympa, hein, si vous l'avez pas vu, euh, c'est vraiment à voir. Il est sans doute temps de songer à la vraie nature de... De toute façon, ils sont tous sympas, les, les, les Jurassic Park, euh, Jurassic World. Un cycle sans fin, avec un seul but, survivre. Ce qui signifie que les humains et les dinosaures vont devoir apprendre à surmonter leurs différences. Ok. Arizona, des dinosaures se sont échappés dans la nature. Une agence gouvernementale, le DFW, a été appelée pour mettre en place un centre... Ah bah, ça a coupé Pour On nous, pas la suite. les déserts ne sont que des terres arides, vides de vie, à l'exception des créatures les plus coriaces. Mais il y a des centaines eh, de sympa. la situation était très différente. Ah, ils sont magnifiques, là. Dont il les est triceratops. Il n'est pas si surprenant que des dinosaures évoluent parmi les virevoltants. La situation avec tous ces dinosaures dans la nature est désormais intenable pour ceux qui sont aux commandes ou qui croient ah, être. Ils sont magnifiques, Donc, les dinosaures. Nous avons un problème ou peut-être une chance. C'est là que vous intervenez. Vos prédécesseurs ont ignoré mes avertissements. Mais peut-être que vous serez 